So in this exercise, we are going to uh, develop a predictive models to test whether some of the mutation uh, patterns might be associated with uh, GMC Dublin response. So to do that, we come back to the data set that we have uh, used previously. So this is the data for the Fisher exact test, which we do not need that uh, anymore. So we are going to delete this part here and then we are going to format it accordingly so that uh, it can be read by the uh, Omics Explorer. So we insert one column here and this would be here and then um, we will create a gene here. Now it is very important is that well for the Omics Explorer that well any duplicate in terms of the variables it is not going to be able to build the model. So to test whether there is any duplication in terms of the variables here, so we can use the conditional formatting here, and then uh, apply new rules. So you can click here, format only unique or duplicate values. So values, I uh, mean format all. Well, this will allow you to identify uh, any variable that is that has duplicated here. So we check, click the format, and then you can choose basically what you want to do. I'm just going to fill that with different color here. Okay. So and then you just select okay. So now when you move back up here, basically okay. Now you can actually filter out those variables that actually have a uh, duplication. So I can select here the filter. So it will take a while. Okay, the filter by color. Okay. So now here you can see that while well, there are some duplication well, in terms of the variables in this uh, four entries here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this by deleting the whole row. So now that your data set uh, should have all the Unix uh, variables to be re ready to in uh, import it into the uh, Omics Explorer. Okay, now you have this data set. Okay, so the next thing is you are going to save this uh, as a, we call it a CSV file, so so that the explorer, I mean the Omics Explorer, can actually recognize and read it. Okay, that's good. Now the next thing is that you go to the Explorer. Now you can actually import the file. So you can import. Uh, from here, the research. Then you can import this CSV file here. You can use the research to import it. Next, next. So this is where the data start and where it's end. notations okay done so here you have the data set here so the next thing is we are going to uh, build the classifier so here you can use uh, different methods KNN uh, SVM or random tree so we'll use KNN here so two group comparison the key will set it to be uh, respond so the validation set, we will use back the same set as a validation set. Make sure that the validation key here, you actually set it to uh, according to respond. Now, there are a couple of settings that you can fine tune this analysis. For example, okay, like the builder here, they already have a built in uh, cross, uh, cross validation parameters. So the default is set for the inner sets to be five and also the outer sets to be five folds. So we will talk about the cross validation uh, later on in a separate video. So that will include your uh, K folds, cross validation, and also the leave one out. So uh, in fact, while the Omics Explorer is quite good, it's already have a built-in uh, cross validation. So now, okay, for KNN, there's 
other parameters that you can set so the default is k equals to 3 now but the common practice is basically how you define okay the k value you can actually use the square root of the total number of sample size in this case here you have about uh, 18 plus 21 plus 21 so which you have about 39 uh, uh, samples here basically you can square root it okay uh, power by 0 0.5 that will give you about uh, 6.24 basically so in this case here you can actually straight away set the k is equals to 6 okay so then the nearest neighbor would be 6 nearest label to calculate it so we press OK, then we can start to press uh, the build button here. OK, so you can collect it. Now you're just going to save the mutational classifier here. OK, so here you go. So uh, now if you look at this here, basically um, you have the accuracy. This is already taken into account of the cross validation. Not particularly good, but then while well, we will still take it as it is. And the important thing is that while well, these are the genes that uh, that is the classic, while well, these are the pre well predictors that will could predict the response uh, of GMC Tabin based on the KNN model. So we will export this report as a KNN mutation. So we will come back to that later on. So if you want, you can actually copy this into a new file here this is your knn gene so these are the predictors that is uh, identified by the uh, knn basically uh, we can come back to that uh, later on so we can keep doing this basically now we can test using the uh, svm so again you just have to build the press the build button here and continue and then you save it as uh, SVM mutation okay so then we'll start building it now you can see that SVM have much more predictor here okay does it perform any better well not quite bad not not too bad so you have 0 0.972 here so which is good so again we will export this report to uh, SVM mutation Okay, so then we continue on with the random tree and build it. Okay, the random tree will take a little bit longer because it needs a little bit more of a computational power here. Depends on how fast your processor and the memory is. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer time compared to the other two model building. So it's almost done, seventy seven per cent. Six percent now. Okay, great. So now this is the random tree data. So the prediction is zero point seven seven eight. Not too bad. So we will export this out. Um, the random tree mutation okay okay so to check whether okay uh, how is how does it looks like uh, for those mutation that might be associated with GFC typing response so we can go into the heat map view so in this case here okay so this is the uh, original data set so you can see that okay uh, 
while the red correspond to the one which have mutation and then the dark and the green correspond to no mutation. So if you base on the KNN model, you can see is that well, this is the 10 predictors uh, that uh, predicted by the KNN model to suggest that it might be associated with gem cetabine response. And if you look at that, okay, what is shown here is basically the blue color. The blue color represent the non-responder and the yellow color represent the responder. So what you will see here is basically based on the KNN model. So any any of the well, if there is uh, any of either of these mutation happen, so you can actually have the well render the cancer, uh, the pancreatic cancer to be non-responder in the uh, gemcitabine. And similarly, if you look at the uh, random tree, so it also predicted the same ten, uh, the same ten genes here again. So if any of the tumors have any of the single mutation here the chances of it uh, well is uh, is that well it might not be responding to uh, gemcitabine whereas for svm you have even more predictors here so it doesn't show up the genes here but what you can see here is that well over here basically these are the things that when you have the mutation happening here okay of this gene so that might not have uh, been a well that might not be a responding to uh, gemcitabine. So, so far the uh, model is, is quite good. So, um, well, we can then extract this list and then to look at it more carefully into the biological uh, question. So, so that's it for the modeling. Thank you.